Okay, so I am back for another Will I Buy It? chatting about new makeup releases. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. But every single week, I like to sit down and chat about new makeup releases that have caught my eye, many of them being indie because that's what catches my eye these days and I feel like they don't get as much, you know, publicity and whatnot out there. So I like to shine a little light on it if I am able to. And yeah, basically my criteria for what I talk about are new makeup releases that have caught my eye and either intrigued me or just caught my eye enough to want to sit down and talk to you guys about them. With all this, Said, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. I'm gonna scoot over and we can get started. Before we do that though, let's go ahead and do my Instagram shout out for today. And for today, I'm going to be highlighting this commenter from my most recent Instagram post. They left this really sweet comment and it just stood out to me and I really do appreciate it. So yeah, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to comment on my post over on Instagram. I really do appreciate it. And you are my Instagram shout out for today. Okay, so per usual, I have my screen recording going, so anything that I'm seeing, you guys are gonna see right here. But the first off, I wanna talk about this new brand that I was gonna wait to have more information, but I'm just, I just gotta tell you guys about this. So I'm gonna share it now. But this brand is called Geology Cosmetics, I believe. I don't, there's also Pill Barra over there in the corner, but I don't, I think that's the palette name. This is the shape of the palette. This is the like outside design of it. And then these are the colors, but we haven't seen any more details. We don't know like what the palette looks like inside, what the pans look like or anything like that. So we don't have a ton of information, but look at this color story. This is a beautiful neutral color story in my opinion. They have that green and mustard and orange in there that I think just uh, adds a lot to a neutral palette for me personally for me to be able to enjoy it. I love that bright white shade over there. It definitely catches my eye and yeah, I have been checking this brand a lot. It's a brand new brand on the market as far as I know. They only have three pictures out, so there's not a whole lot of information, but like I said, I've been keeping an eye on them, waiting for them to come out with more information, and I'm super, super intrigued. So I just wanna share that this is a new brand coming, and their first palette, well, it's a very neutral, you know, kind of like a basic palette, you could say. I'm very intrigued, I think it's beautiful, and I love the idea and the theme for the brand. Okay, this is another palette that was gonna wait, but this is the upcoming Natasha Denona, what's it even called, Cirque? Circo Loco palette, I think is what it's gonna be called. There's not enough, much information about it. That's why I wasn't really gonna talk about it, but I cannot wait for this palette, so I just wanna to talk to you guys about it. Basically, that's the only reason. This is what the palette looks like. This is Pan That Palette's, uh, Pan These Palettes, sorry. She found it in her Sephora. And other than that, I really haven't heard any information about it, but we do know it's real. We do know it's coming. I think it's gonna be the $129. However, do you guys see this color story? This is the first Natasha Denona palette that she has launched where the whole palette, like not even just, just a part of it or a section of it or a few colors like the whole color story intrigues me and excites me there are a good deal of shimmers in this palette which is the only kind of downside to this palette for me when I look at it I get excited for mattes you guys know this and when I look at it I kind of only see let's see fireworks is a matte magic is a matte acrobat is a matte what else this kind of peachy pink down there is a matte Fun Tamimi is a matte, Cotton Candy is a matte, and that's it. So this is definitely heavily a shimmer palette, which like I said, is the only comp for me because I like to work with mattes. However, I've heard Natasha Denona shines with her shimmers, so I'm not too mad at it because I'd be curious to see like what I could create. I'm glad to see that while this is such a heavy shimmer palette, there still are a lot of fun mattes that you can create a lot. Like it might be a little limiting in what you can create when it comes to the mattes, but at least there's color and it's not all super neutral or something like that. So. I think this is gonna be my first Natasha Denona palette that I buy. And I'm kinda hurting over here because it's the like over $100 palette. But anyway, all that to say, I'm 95% sure I'm gonna buy this. The only 5% that tells me I'm, I might not buy it is the 5% that just looks at the price tag. But I really, really would like, I'm really intrigued by her brand. I hear such great things about her brand. And then now that I have a color story coming out that's totally up my alley, I'm kinda like, hmm, I think this is the time. I mentioned this in last week's, but Uoma, I always say that word, Yoma, I think it's Uoma Beauty, uh, released the Coming to America collection. Look at this collection. They released it for a couple hours on their website to get it like a pre-sale, and then now you just have to wait for it to come. Their website and Ulta, I believe, it usually goes to Ulta, but anyway, 
This is really intriguing. I'm not really interested in the big palette. That just doesn't really hold much intrigue to me. It does all, also look like a lot of glitters, though I don't think they're glitters. However, this is the palette that really caught my eye, and I almost bought this. Like, I think that's really pretty. The only downside for me was that it's a smaller palette with very few mattes. Like, there's the black, red, and purple. I think those are the only mattes. I can totally see Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner absolutely loving this because she loves a good black, she loves a good red, and she loves a lot of shimmers. So I'm, I'm pretty sure she picked this up. I never even asked her, but... I I would be shocked if she didn't review this. Maybe I'm sticking my foot in my mouth, but I just saw that palette and I immediately thought of Annette. This one also caught my eye, but, and while it does have more uh, mattes in it, it didn't have enough depth through me. It just didn't grab me as much. So I ended up not picking anything from this collection up, but I was very, very tempted. They also got, looks uh, like eyeliners, I would assume, lipsticks. Those are cool etching on the side, and then a highlighter little palette there. But yeah, really cool collection. I think they did a great job with the collection as a whole, and then packaging and presentation. It's absolutely beautiful, and then the color stores are really fun and unique and different, but I talked myself out of them, so I don't plan to get them. Notoriously Morbid is releasing a new product. This is a multi-chrome lipstick, which I bet some people are saying is not going to be the trend for 2021. If that's the case, I'm not going to be in on that trend, because like, multi-chrome lipsticks just nothing about that appeals to me. I'm very low-key on my lipstick and most, uh, you know, I prefer matte liquid lipstick so I have been getting more into glosses and whatnot for videos. But anyway, I'm just, the multi-chrome lip, liquid lipstick doesn't appeal to me, but this is Mystic Metal. It's definitely pretty. I can see if you're like more artistic than me and you like to do pretty things with your makeup and whatnot for pictures or just you're very artistic and I'm not. I can see you enjoying this, but for me, I, I don't plan to get it, though I think that's beautiful. Like if I was an eyeshadow, I'd be drooling, but as a lipstick, I'm good. So Mora Cosmetics is launching these ombre blushes, and I just have to tell you, from presentation-wise, I want these because they're beautiful. Like look at these. They look so beautiful, like the etch work. And I'd be curious to see like how well the etching is, if it's just like a very superficial layer and it'll like disappear after the first couple uses, or if it's more like Milani's rose blush. Like I've been using that for years and I can still see the imprint. But just, I mean, even that aside, like I want this pink to yellow blush in the middle just for the beauty of it. Like I think that's beautiful. The orange up here also is very pretty. I like the orange to the yellow. That's really, really beautiful. It's just pretty to look at. Like I would want one of these just to look at. I'm not going to be picking any up because I can easily talk myself out of them. $9 each though. They're not a bad price, but I don't plan to pick it up. So I'm going to be good on that front. I feel like it can be very good when it comes to blushes. It's the palettes that get me every time. So Tarte launched a new product. They revamped their shape tape and they now have the ultra creamy shape tape concealer. So they've just redid, redone the formula to make it more moisturizing for drier skin, I guess. And then you have the original for normal to oily. So I like that they brought something to that line because Shape Tape is very popular, but is definitely very well known to not be good for dry skin because it's just so drying. So I like that they added to that line and created a formula that's more for people who have drier skin but want full coverage. So I think that's awesome. But for me personally, it's an easy pass for me. Um, I don't have dry or mature skin, but I was never a huge fan of Shape Tape to begin with, but it's available now on Tarte Cosmetics, and yeah. So this is a new brand to me, TG Supply, I believe it's what it's called, but they are coming out with a Pro Color Cosmetics line. Yeah, TG Supply is launching a new brand called Color Pro Cosmetics. Okay, so they're starting a new brand called Color Pro Cosmetics, and they're coming out with this first palette, and th this palette is very pretty. Like, if you are a purple lover, I would say this is the palette to grab because like look at these beautiful colors. I don't know anything about the brand, the formula or whatnot, but I'm definitely intrigued. This second row also really intrigues me. So as a whole, I'm very intrigued. I don't plan to pick it up though because I'm not big into purples. However, now that I see what they can do to create a blue, more like a purple palette with a splash of blue, now that I can see what kind of color story they can do for a purple palette, I'm crossing my fingers and waiting to see what other palette they come out with and hopefully they'll do more of like a green, yellow, orange, red even. I could see a orangey red theme palette from them being really, really pretty. So I've got my eye on them for future launches, but if you're a purple lover, this one might be for you. So this is interesting. This is a, a available now from Glow Up Academy, but the first time I saw this new palette from them, it's a Varsity palette, has 36 pigmented shades, but the first time I saw this, I could have sworn it was a Playing in Makeup by Yolanda palette. Like I was scrolling and I was like, oh, did she launch a new palette or like did it restock or something like that? But no, this is an entirely different brand. I went and looked on uh, Playing in Makeup by Yolanda's website and I think hers are a row shorter, but they're just, they're close and I think that color just made me go like, wait a minute, is that the same palette? But a totally new brand, Glow Up Academy, never heard of them, but there are 36 pigmented shades, 
featuring pressed pigment, silky metallics, and smooth matte finishes. So it doesn't appear to have any glitters, which is good. It retails for $48. And yeah, it's definitely a beautiful color story. You guys know I like my dark tones, and there's some splashes and, you know, bright colors in there with the yellows and the oranges that catches my eye. This deep green down here looks pretty with this more bright green up there. So it's really pretty, but I was able to talk myself out of it, mainly because I am, I'm not familiar with the brand. It's fairly expensive, and it's a fairly large palette, and I have a lot of large palettes to go through that I've been going through recently and that I still need to go through, so I was able to talk myself out of this one. But a new brand, and I really do think the color story is pretty. A bit repetitive, again, could have edited themselves down, but it's pretty. So if that beauty is coming out with the this little glitter quad, I'm totally not into glitters, you guys know that, so this holds no appeal to me, but I figured I would share about that. It's coming soon, I don't think she has a launch date, and then she also, this one is available now. This is their Across the Universe. This is a collab with her sister, who has a brand shop far off. I'll go ahead and click over to that. Um, so she collaborated with her sister to create this palette, and it doesn't appear to have any glitters. It looks like it has four mattes and five shimmers, and I think it's a really pretty color story. Like, I like how each of the colorful mattes have a colorful shimmer to go along with it, with the pinks and the yellows and the greens down there with the purple, and then I guess that pop of blue doesn't have any matte, but I, I like that aspect of it. Yeah, this is new, available now on her website, Yvette Beauty. So Live Glam, I'm not very familiar with the brand, but apparently they launched a Taco Tuesday palette for $19.99, and it's a pretty color story. A bit kind of out of left field, I feel like it's a very like food themed palette from a brand that I, do, I don't believe is like food themed. But then, I mean, Elf just collaborated with Chipotle and did a palette over, you know, Chipotle. So I guess that's not too weird right now. But anyway, this color story is pretty. I like the greens, obviously. I like that kind of orangey brown with the, uh, looks like a shimmer red. I've never tried this brand before, so I have no experience with the formula or anything. This looks like, like the first time I saw this, I thought it was a sheet glam palette. And because because they have these nine pants palettes looks exactly like this like set up exactly like this and I'm not a fan of their formula but I mean this is live glam so I have no idea what their formula is like I can't find any swatches for this so I don't know like pigmentation or whatnot but it's a pretty color story I just don't know anything about the brand so I'm not picking it up for now $19.99 also comes with three lip products not pictured for $26.99 I mean if you've tried live glam at all like I said I know nothing about the brand Oh, I did want to mention real quick, uh, Michelle Wong has her own brand, and when it first launched, I kind of missed it in one of my Will I Buy It? And this was back when I only did them like every two, three weeks, and so I just always had a ton and always had to like leave things out, and hers was just one of those things that I always left out. But anyway, she has a brand for wraps, like scarves and stuff like that, and she just is restocking on a bunch of colors, so if you're all curious for luxury scarves, check her brand out. Um, I am not someone who tends to use scarves. If you guys don't know, I live in Florida, so we have cold weather like a week out of the year, like cold weather enough to need a scarf or, you know, to bundle up and stuff like that. But on top of that, I'm just not someone who tends to wear scarves. Even when I lived in Virginia, it was super cold. I just, I, I would try to wear scarves for a fashion statement, but I just never went well. I would kind of wear it sometimes and then not others. I don't know. I'm just not a big scarf person. And then on top of that, it's definitely a luxury price tag. I don't want to miss cold, but I'm pretty sure these retail for over $300. And I'm just not that type of girl, like, when it comes to, you know, not even makeup, but, like, clothes especially. I, I'm even cheaper on my clothes than on my makeup. Like, I spend a lot on makeup, and then it comes to clothes, I'm like, $20 for a shirt? So, yeah, $329. So, they're definitely a luxury if you enjoy luxury, and if you're someone who definitely does wraps, this might be, you know, the brand to check out and, you know, to support another uh, creator, because Michelle Wong is a YouTube creator, if you're not aware. And I think it's awesome she's starting her own brand, but for me personally, it's just not a, a type of product that I tend to buy so I don't plan to purchase any anytime soon, but I did want to go ahead and share in one of my videos that her brand is live. It just did a restock. If you are curious, she has more shades and whatnot. And yeah, you can find more information at buymichellewong.com. Okay, so Romantic Beauty USA launched these new palettes. So we have the Oasis palette, which is a kind of warm tone neutral palette. We have the Paradise palette. This is the one that grabs me. It reminds me of Cara Beauty palettes. That's what it reminds me of. This Tropics, which is a very like pinky palette. And then this is Lady Rose, I think, uh, just a neutral, very kind of uh, like light toned palette. And then there's also Lady something, Lady Bouquet. Lady Bouquet, I think. Um, this is a, a pretty color story. I feel like there's a lot of variety and a lot of different shades in there. And then last up is Lady Harrit? Hornet? Hornet? I'm not really sure. But anyway, this color story, which is more of like a pinky, a green theme palette, it's very colorful. I never heard of the brand RomanticUSA.com, but it's got they got a lot of new palettes. The 16-pan palettes retail for $16, and then the 25-pan palettes retail for $20. 
Oh yeah, it's Lady Rose, Lady Bouquet, Lady Monet. Okay, anyway, um, site for more pictures. So lots of new palettes launched from this brand. Lots of very colorful, like, color stories. I feel like when brands do this and just launch so many palettes that all kind of intrigue me, I'm just, like, so overwhelmed, I do nothing. Which is kind of my response when I see this collection. It's like, oh, there's just so many, I don't know what to choose, so I'm not gonna pick any. If I were to pick one, Paradise would be the palette I get, because I feel like that's really pretty. But I haven't heard anything about this brand, so if you have, if you have, you know, tried their palettes or whatnot, or if you're curious to hear more about their palettes, Palettes, let me know that might help me decide because this if I were to pick up one I feel like I could get some really pretty looks and the color story really intrigues me because it's a nice mix of blues and greens and yellows with a pop of orange which I like so it's very pretty I'm very tempted Winky Lux is launching new lipsticks look how pretty these are these are the marvelous mar no marvelously marble marvelous marvelously marvelous I cannot say those two words anyway it's a marbled lipstick and I think it's absolutely beautiful like a presentation wise it's gorgeous. Winky Lux always does that with their, uh, their products. I feel like they always present them so beautifully. So I think this is beautiful. Like, look at that cover. I love a good marbled look. So this definitely treats me on that sense. But I don't plan to get it just because I'm not super big into lipsticks. They all look very sheer and light. So they're more like that wash of color. So I just don't tend to think to add to my collection with those type of colors. Available ooh, for $18. Available now at WinkyLux.com. But I give them like uh, A++ for presentation and just creativity. I think that looks so beautiful. Like I would like to own that just to look at it. Next up, Caroline Hera. Hera. Herrera. Herrera. Why can I not pronounce anything in today's video? I'm so sorry. Anyway, this brand kind of stopped me in my tracks because I think it's like so unique and beautiful. Like, look at this. There's a lion, there's some type of bug beetle, and then there's a turtle. Aren't those beautiful? And then the bottles, like, they just look super luxe. They have detachable handles that you can buy, I guess, for $11 a piece. I don't know why you'd want just a detachable handle. That doesn't really make sense to me. But anyway, they're beautiful. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And then even without the little emblem with the bug or whatever on there, I think the lipstick itself without that is very pretty. I love the frosted tube with the red top with the gold etching and detail. Very pretty. It looks like a mix of liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. All around very pretty. They retail for $25 a piece, I believe. 13 shades and 7 shades. And then I guess you have to buy the handles separate because it says $11 a piece. This seems more luxury and like, a, you know, expensive type of, I mean, just looking at it, it looks expensive type of makeup, which I am not. So I don't understand why you would buy all the individual pieces to change it out. But maybe if you like that sort of thing, you would. So... I just think it's beautiful. I couldn't get over how pretty these looked. Clarity Cosmetics is coming out with a new Mauve Weddings palette. I think this is really pretty, especially like if you think of four weddings. I don't plan to pick it up. I've never tried Clarity Cosmetics. I've just heard kind of so-so things about them, so I've never bothered. Her swatches always look like insanely pigmented. I can never get over how beautiful they look. But yeah, I don't know. It's just too neutral for me to bother. It kind of reminds me, honestly, of the um, Sticky and Sweet or Sweet and Sticky palette from Gimme Glow, especially because that brown up here in the corner kind of is more of a, has a hint of red to that brown, which I wasn't expecting when I got this palette, but it has a little bit of a plummy red tone brown. And that's kind of what I see with Sugar Plum in here. So that's kind of funny how they remind me. And then the two shimmers in the Sweet and Sticky palette is more of a whitish type of silver and then more of a you know darker champagne -y color. Isn't that funny? A penny champagne, hazelnut latte, sugar plum, and a whole lot of whole lot of what? Leoks, whatever that last word is, those look similar to shades in the sticky sweet or sweet and sticky palette. So if you have this, you might already have those tones. But anyway. All of that said, I'm not planning to pick this up. Okay, so Hindash, who I'm not, I don't know him before him coming out with this brand, but I believe he's a makeup artist or an influencer on Instagram or YouTube. I'm not really sure, but he's coming out with a brand and his first product is dropping. It's a Butopsy Press Pigment Palette. I'm not going to tell you how many times I sat here and tried to pronounce that Butopsy, but I think I got it. Because it's like autopsy, except it's butopsy. Anyway, it's a pressed pigment palette. Retails for $70, so rather high price tag. I just don't really get this palette. Like, I get it in the sense that it's supposed to be a palette you can use everywhere. On your face, on your eyes, on your, you know, wherever you want to. You can use it to contour, blush, highlight, eyeliner, brow powder, eyeshadow, everything. It's a buildable formula, and it has six gradient pans. I just don't, I mean, I don't know. Something about the gradient for eyeshadow... I don't get like I feel like especially if you're using these on your face you're going to use larger brushes so you're going to kind of mix those gradients together so then when you want to use them as eyeshadow like I don't I don't know I feel like they would muddy together a lot 
But that aside, like, I feel like this palette is made for people who are like that one and done, like something quick on their eyes. Not really like what I have today, even though today was a little bit of a train wreck. But anyway, I feel like it's just not meant for me. So for me, I look at this palette and it's an easy pass. But I did want to share, it's a new brand. $70, definitely more of a high price brand. So I'll be curious to see what else this brand comes out with. But this is just not meant for me and the type of makeup that I like to do. Melt Cosmetics is coming out with some cream blushes in a variety of shades. How many is it? It's multi-use cream blush lights can be applied on the cheeks and lips. Um, looks like a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight show in this picture. I don't know if those are like new or they're just adding to this. I don't think they have cream blushes before this. But anyway, you guys know I'm not a big cream blush person, so I'm going to be passing on this. I'm sure they're going to be absolutely beautiful, and I'm sure the presentation of these are going to be gorgeous because Melt always does a fantastic job in that aspect. But for me personally, it's an easy pass. I know Karen's excited for these. These are up her alley. She does like cream products, so I'll, I'll just live through her when she gets them and does the video. I'll watch it and enjoy them through her. But for me, these are an easy pass. Even though there's some shades that I feel like I think are really pretty. I'm thinking more contour, but I just think they're pretty. Anyway, coming soon. I don't know the date yet, but they're a pass for me. Ooh, so Kristen Lee Cosmetics is sneak peeking her new birthday highlighter. So last year for Kristen Lee Cosmetics' a birthday, she launched a limited edition highlighter, and she's doing another limited edition highlighter for this birthday. This is the first sneak peek we have. It's the new Shenanigans birthday highlighter coming soon. Look how beautiful that looks. Like, oh, I think it's beautiful. I love the mix. Like, I don't know how wearable this would be, like, as a highlighter, which... I don't think I put a face highlighter on today. Oh, that's sad. Hang on. I'm gonna just take my Iceland palette that I use for my eyes today. I'm gonna take that lightest shade and let's fix that. I don't know, I really enjoy face highlight these days. Makes me look like uh, my skin isn't as tired and decaf and dehydrated as it is most days. Okay, anyway, moving on. Now that we fixed that, it looks very pretty. I'm not sure how to look as a actual highlight. I think I did say she, she did share, oh yeah, here's a swatch of it. Like look at that pink to kind of a green type of color there. It's very pretty. Like there are some highlighters that I feel like they're just pretty as inner corner highlights to use as your lid, but they're not necessarily highlighters I would use on my face because they can just leave that cast sometimes. Anyway, I don't know if that would be the case with this one, but there's no denying that just swatching wise, it's beautiful and it would look beautiful all over the lid and definitely so pretty as an inner corner highlight. So I'm very intrigued. I'll definitely keep an eye. Um, set your alarms. This beauty will be releasing this Friday, 312. Okay, so by the time you guys are seeing this, it should already be up. But it shifts from teal to blue to purple to pink to peach. Wow, that's just, that sounds amazing. So yeah, by the time you guys are seeing this, this launched yesterday, you can check out our website if uh, to see if any are still available. I do have an affiliate code uh, with them. I'll put it on the screen here. If you're curious, you can use my affiliate code to get a percentage off if you plan to order from her. But yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful creation. Beautiful to just sit and look at. Oh, so Sigma also, uh, they launched this on-the-go eyeshadow palette. And these are little palettes, little nine pan palettes that I think are supposed to kind of be condensed version of palettes they already have. The Ivy palette is the only one that catches my eye because it has a nice mix of greens. Everything else is definitely just so neutral. I, I honestly personally wouldn't bother with it. It's just not my speed. I do know Karen Harris did a video with these. I will go ahead and, if I can remember, link it in my description box if you're curious to see what she thinks about these because I she does get uh, PR from Sigma, so she has them already. But it's an easy pass for me because even Ivy, while I think it's very pretty, there's only like the three, kind of like if you were playing, you know, tic-tac-toe, the three diagonal cross from the left, Envy, I can't read the middle one, and Twisted Thistle, that's probably what it says, I can't read the middle. Anyway, those three are the only ones, everything else is just very neutral, and I don't know, just not very inspiring for me, so it's an easy pass. I feel like if those three greens were mixed with this Ritz colors of mustards in there, then I might have been tempted for a very neutral palette, but as it is with the color stories of these palettes, it's an easy pass for me. Uh, available now, 139 for all six or $29 for each individually. Copa City Cosmetics shared this new little trio, or trio, this new little quad that they have after April showers, and it's beautiful. Like, I like the yellows. The yellows are just so pretty. They just make me think of spring and summer. They're just so bright. Yellow makes me smile, so I really like that aspect of it just being a yellow theme palette. I'm pretty sure Marigold is a glitter, as is... Mm, chrysanthemum I think is just a like um what is that like a textured chunky type of shimmer definitely not a type of color or like a type of shade that I like to work with they just tend to flake on fall on my face throughout the day so the only shadows in this little quad or not even a quad I was calling it a quad there's five shades 
Katie, get it together. Anyway, the, the two mattes and then that one shimmer daisy at the top. Very pretty. I'm kind of tempted, but I think I can say no for now. I did buy the Glam Shop. Uh, they had a yellow theme palette, so I did pick that, that palette up. So I don't need to get another yellow theme palette, especially with two shades that I don't really care for. But all in all, I just want to share it with you guys because I think it's a beautiful color story. Okay, last up, I just want to touch on this real quick. Beautylish uh, announced that they are having a new collection or a new product for Sonya G. And it's this Heinz Tooth Collection. They now have, let's see, a brush envelope, a mini zippered pouch. They don't have prices on here. But anyway, it's basically like pouches and stuff to hold your brushes in. I will say like real quick, I don't have a ton of her brushes, but I do have several. My collection is slowly growing. Here's three of them that I have. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with luxury, like expensive brushes. However, I've tried, let's see, Ruffer. I've tried Scott Barnes. I've tried Isom. I've tried Wayne Goss. And what's the other? I think those are the three four main like expensive brands that I've tried and I feel like Sony G is that one brush brand that I feel like it's worth the price like I see the quality in it like it's just something extra special not to say that any of those other brands that I just mentioned aren't also very nice like they are but there's just something about Sony G that it's just like I enjoy using them they're just they're just such a nice experience I never buy them full price oh well I shouldn't say never once I placed a beautyless order and I did buy them full price when I originally tried one of her brushes however I now just keep a lookout on Macari and on Poshmark and whenever someone puts a brush up that's brand new at a fraction of the price that you could get on beautylish I buy it so that's how I've been slowly growing my collection of Sony G brushes just want to throw it out there but yeah I really do like Sony G brushes like I feel like the quality is there and the way they blend your eyeshadow is just beautiful like amazing I love it and I really do enjoy using my brushes moving on I just want to share that they are available I'm not going to be buying any because they are going to be more expensive and I don't keep my brushes in those type of brush rolls or purses or pouches or anything like that however I do like the shape of this if you're someone who travels a lot I like how it kind of opens up and you can stick all your brushes in but then it folds up and then kind of snaps in real cool and whatnot I like that look so if I were to need a brush set I like how this one kind of puts them all together and keeps them all nice and safe. All right, so that is all of the products that I'm gonna be talking about, the new makeup releases that I'm gonna be talking about in today's video per usual. Over here is gonna be any late breaking news, and as I said, I am recording this video earlier than usual, so there might be a good bit over there, but if anything is like super big or super important that I wanna talk on more, I will mention it briefly here, and then we can touch on it in next week's video, but I hope you guys enjoyed another installment in my Will I Buy It talking about new makeup releases, and I am very happy to say that I was pretty good with all of these products. I feel like the only one that I am definitely gonna buy is Natasha Denona. And then also that uh, Geology brand, which again, no real information on when they're launching and whatnot, but that brand also really has my eye. But besides that, I feel like I was pretty good. Oh, and then also Copacetic and Yvette Beauty. Those two palettes I'm tempted on, but I'm trying to talk myself out of it and be good. Oh, and also, oh, here I am. <laughs> and also Romantic Beauty USA. But I feel like as a whole, while there are palettes and stuff that tempt me, I feel like all of them is still an easy no, except for Natasha Denona. Like I said, 95% convinced. So let me know down below what your thoughts are on all of these products. Are you gonna be getting any? Are you tempted by any of them? Are you excited for any of them? I'd love to hear that down below in the comments. And yeah, I just wanna say Thank you so much for tuning in once again and hanging out with me while I talk about new makeup releases that are launching in the indie world and some mainstream. But I just enjoy that you guys enjoy this video each week and that it's not getting too old and that you guys just enjoy tuning in and chatting with me in the live chat for the premieres. I really do have a lot of fun when we're able to sit back and chat as the video is playing. So I'm excited and glad that I'm able to do these videos every week. But yeah, with all that said, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. And if you did enjoy this video, per usual, just hit the thumbs up button on your way out as it helps me in the whole YouTube algorithm them. And with all that said, I'm over on Instagram if you want to check me out over there and get more content. I upload over there about every day. And yeah, with all that said, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.